everyone. So now what we are going to be doing uh, today is we are going to be looking at uh, what we uh, uh, call financial mathematics, right? And what we are going to be looking at today, we are going to be looking at what we call uh, our simple interest, right? Now, remember that uh, simple interest is basically defined as, you know, that interest on a loan, which is usually calculate, calculated on, you know, your yearly basis and the interest uh, on the loan or the amount charged, uh, it is only taking uh, the principal amount into consideration, right? So basically, this is our simple interest. And now it is given by the formula A is equals to P into 1 plus I, uh, 1 plus I multiplied by N, right? It is given by that, isn't it so? And now, uh, what we need to understand is that, isn't that we've learned that from our simple interest, the A represent the total amount, right? It is the total amount of money. Uh, the A represent the total amount of money uh, at the end, right? Uh, at the end of this particular loan period, right? Or this particular investment period. Whereas uh, the P represent what we call the principal uh, amount. And what basically a principal amount is, it is basically the money at the beginning of the loan or the beginning of the investment, right? So this one, you find it at the uh, B beginning right so you find this basically at the beginning while this is the one that you find at the end of your loan period isn't it so and now uh, after that we have this i which represent your interest uh which means this is the going to be the interest uh that is going to be end and remember that this is given uh usually given in rates which is percentage right and remember that when calculating percentage it is always going to be that particular percentage over 100 to get what you are given isn't it so then now after that what we are also going to look at the n which represent the number uh of what the number of a period or the number of time period right this represent the number of time period and what does that simply means uh remember that you can uh, be given a loan for this particular year let's say now it is given by three years so therefore the n is going to be given by what it is going to be a three isn't it so now uh and then we are going to be comparing it uh with what we uh call our compound interest right now uh and then we are uh, now to understand in terms of what is our compound interest now in in our compound interest it is basically that particular interest that is uh calculated not only on a principal amount basis but also it also includes you know uh, any accumulated interest that has been added at a certain time interval, right? So now, uh, which means now, if you compare this to, this is your A is equals to P into one plus your I to the power of N, isn't it so? So now I usually, you know, refer this as your interest also as an interest, right? So that's how usually your compound interest, it is calculated. And indeed your A still represent the total amount at the end of your uh your installment or at the end of your uh your particular investment or your loan or anything of that sort right so this is the total amount and the p still represent the principal amount which is the amount uh at the beginning right uh, at the beginning of your loan or your investment the i which still represent your interest and your N, which still represent the number of period or the number of years, including the compounding period. Isn't it so? And now, uh, if we remember, uh, remember we agreed that uh, we have different uh, compounding periods. We have what we call, uh, firstly, a yearly, right? When they say it is compounded yearly, which means it is going to be paid only once a year, right? 
once a year and then we also have what we have uh semi annually or semi yearly semi annually which means now if it's semi annually this means it's going to be only paid two times a year right uh and then we have quarterly and then quarterly which means it is paid each and every quarter right so which means it is paid three times uh a year right uh, it is paid, I mean, it is paid four times a year, not three times. It is going to be paid four times a year. It is paid each and every after three months. But how many times? It is four times a year. And then we have what we call now a monthly, which is always paid how many times? It is paid 12 times a year, right? Uh, now, if I can, you know, give you a, a little bit of demonstration now between uh, the difference between your simple interest and your compound interest, right? So your simple interest, it's more like your straight line graph, right? Where now the relation is, you know, uh, direct. If one increases, the other increase. While now, uh, if you can look at this, is can be your simple interest. And now if you can look at your compounding interest, now it's more of an exponential form. The amount of money receives an interest at the top or on top of an interest, right? So basically that is going to be that. Now let's see in terms of what else can we, you know, remind ourselves with.